Well, hello everybody and welcome in. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your new love singles readings for all of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And this is for March, 2021. The time frame that I've set on this is March 6th through April 6th, 2021. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. And if you're returning, welcome back. And I truly appreciate all of your likes, shares, subscribes, your comments, and your wonderful energy. So as always, this is a general and intuitive reading, so not all the messages that come out will resonate with everybody. Just take the parts that resonate with your personal situation and uh, leave the rest behind. You might also want to check out your, uh, sun, your, sorry, your moon rising and Venus sign readings for additional messages as well. So first I'm going to pull out the overall energy of your reading, and this is energy that is benefiting you in the month ahead. So first off, we have the devil. Now, um, some of you may um, have a relationship that comes along, okay, that, um, uh, that will be perhaps based more on the material realms, okay, like a physical relationship or friends with benefits situation, perhaps, okay, now since this is energy that is benefiting you, um, the message that comes out of this deck with this card is all about temptation and seduction, okay, but um the message that comes with it is um maintain your perspective or keep away okay so it feels as though that spirit is guiding you here so that even if you do have this kind of physical relationship something that is based on um, material pleasures material joys okay we're all at different stages in our lifetimes right so um depending where you are um in your life Absolutely, there is a time and place for all of those kinds of relationships, right? Um, but it feels as though spirit will be guiding you and helping you to maintain a um, perspective, okay? And to not get too involved or uh, trapped by this devil energy, okay? Because lust, temptation, seduction, all of those kind of things, they can be very alluring, okay? And uh, can sometimes leave us trapped and bound and that's when things start to take a turn to crazy town right that's when things start to get uh you know get real and get to be to the point where we can't quite escape all right so spirit is certainly helping you to um you know maintain a certain level of distance okay with that energy and if you were uh in a toxic relationship okay of some sort or um have repeating patterns in a relationship as well i feel that spirit with um you know that devil energy benefiting you okay allows you to spot that kind of energy a mile away okay and if you choose to avoid it then you have the uh spiritual guidance to be able to do that we have the magician coming out here as well okay love it love it love it manifestation energy okay so some of you are working on some law of attraction Okay, um, really trying to call in uh, something that is very positive, very balanced, very good for you. You're being very resourceful and focused on bringing in new love, right? You're not necessarily looking at, you know, the past with this. And it feels like some of you have really done your healing and your spiritual work. Okay, so um, you're really doing a lot of uh, energy on calling in the new. So whatever it is your situation is, the time is right for new love. Okay, one more thing with that devil energy there as well. Um, Spirit invites you to have a look at your current situation because uh, some of you could currently be in that friends with benefits kind of energy. And uh, Spirit invites you to do a little bit of um, soul searching with that because sometimes that can be a defense mechanism, right? You're afraid of being hurt, of being in a real committed relationship, and you're trying to keep your distance um, so that you don't have a broken heart again, okay? But sometimes what, what that happens or what happens when we do that is we actually block true love coming in. So if you are currently in that kind of relationship, um, you know, and you know that it's not going to go anywhere, but it's just like temporary. We've also have the magician coming in. So you're trying to manifest something new as well, but by being in, um, you know, that, uh, you know, that materialistic, um, physical relationship, you may, may not all of you, but you may end up blocking, um, the new from coming in. Okay. So, um, again, that message isn't for everybody necessarily, but, uh, you know, whoever you are, that's spirit asking you to do some soul searching 
And we have the High Priestess coming out again. Okay, so I will tell you, this High Priestess has made an appearance in a lot of uh, a lot of these readings so far. Okay, I shuffle these in between, and there's nothing wrong with that card. So it's certainly um, an important message coming out from Spirit. All right. For one, this is about trusting your intuition, okay? You have all the inner knowledge that it takes to move you towards a, sex, a successful future, okay? Leave the past behind, know what you want, and make steps to get it, right? You will also have a deep sense of knowing about anyone that comes into your life, okay? And you, your intuition really is on high. Now, this high priestess also brings about secrets okay secrets revealed now whether these secrets are hidden within you okay and you getting yourself in alignment to really realize what it is that you want out of life out of love out of a relationship a partner perhaps okay or whether this is somebody about to be reveal a secret to you perhaps a secret crush a secret romance you or someone else may have had um may have their um you know been uh admiring you from a distance or you might have been admiring someone else from a distance right and you just haven't quite acted upon it um it feels as though you might be waiting for them to make the first move okay and of course with that devil energy coming out there as well that can also be about a bit of obsession okay so you may have been pining over somebody for quite some time and you haven't quite gotten the guts to say something Okay, and it feels as though you're trying to magically, with the magician, magically draw them towards you. So we have fair male coming out here, okay? So this can be um, uh, a male person, okay, with um, fair skin, fair hair, red, blonde, uh, light brown, that kind of thing, with fair eyes, like blue, hazel, green, okay? Or this can be someone with a masculine energy that's coming in. All right, so there's a new love coming on in for you right there. And let's see what else we have coming your way. What else do we have for Cancer, please? We'll take this one. We've got money. Okay, so some of you, uh, especially with that devil energy, right, you might not have time for a relationship right now. You might be like, you know, you know what? I'm focused on my money, my career. I'm focused on, um, you know, perhaps buying my first house. I don't need anyone necessarily to help me do that. I'm very self-sufficient. Okay, so, you know, for, you know, if, you know, for some, you know, your, um, you know, your fling, okay, or your non-committal, um, physical relationship, we'll call it, okay, might be exactly what the doctor ordered for you right now, okay? So for some of you, you are really focused on your career and your money at the moment. Um, for others with that money energy coming out there, you might actually meet your new person, your new love um, while making your money. So um, they could be related to your work situation. You may work with them. They may be a customer, um, you know, a contractor that you deal with, something like that, another business associate of some kind. Wow, that is, uh, that is powerful energy there. We also have Ice Queen. Okay, now this can represent um, somebody of influence in your life, perhaps an older, uh, older feminine energy, someone who um, rules with logic and intellect, okay, over anything else. Uh, they might come across as a bit cold. So this could be somebody who has great influence in your love life, perhaps a confidant and, you know, your mother perhaps, okay, someone who might get you to see things in a different perspective. This can also be you, okay? Um, you know, you, uh, especially if you are, you know, focused on your money, you may have turned your back on love to, uh, for the moment because it's not necessarily what you're looking for or what you need. All right. But even if you haven't turned your back on love, you have the ability to see the truth of every situation. Think logically, think intellectually, and, um, nobody can pull the wool over your eyes. Okay. That is for sure. This is like queen of swords energy. Okay. Um, but you also have a laser focus um, because we do have that magician. And I'm feeling that this is, um, for some of you, really related to that magician energy, right? You're not going to let anyone derail you from calling in um, exactly what you want and what you need. All right. So you're very, very focused uh, on that energy right there. 
we also have obstacles, okay? So, you know, um, for some, you know, you do have something in your path. Now, I feel that this is related to that devil energy. Um, and this would be, um, first and foremost, this is related to anyone who is hiding behind a physical relationship, okay? Uh, you may have been hurt in the past. And even though really, truly deep down your underlying feelings, you um, perhaps really do want a loving relationship, um, I feel as though your obstacle that you need to overcome is fear. Okay, fear of getting hurt, fear of being sucked into, um, you know, a toxic relationship perhaps, right? Because it feels with that ice queen right there is that you are large and in charge and you're not, you don't feel like you want anyone to rock that boat for you. Okay, so whatever that obstacle is for you, for one, should you choose, okay, you can overcome that, okay? And you might need to think very logically about it and put some emotions aside, all right? Um, you know, and your, you know, whatever it is, it almost has that energy of face your fear and do it anyway, okay? And we also do have high priestess there. So number one, your intuition is on point, as is the ice queen energy that's certainly one with a lot of intuition. Um, but, um, it also feels this, this obstacle, interesting energy. So this obstacle, this secret, it has to do with the secret that this high priestess holds. And it feels as though for some, the obstacle standing in your way between you and a new person, that fair male, perhaps could be your, um, your workplace, your career. You may work with this person, or again, you may meet them through there. Um, but the obstacle and uh, the obstacle could be that maybe it's not um, the right environment to have that kind of conversation. Okay. And it feels that with this ice queen is that that might be someone that you go to for a little bit of advice or some guidance on how to deal with this situation. Okay. Um, or how to move forward or how to make it less awkward. Okay. Or, um, you know, less inappropriate perhaps. All right. And that might be the obstacle that, you know, your potential person is facing as well. Okay. So whatever your obstacle is, it all, it feels as though that ice queen, if that is not you, okay. It feels as though that is somebody that can help give you some guidance and information and knowledge that you need to move forward and find some success. Wow, we have the Ice King coming out here as well. Okay, so we do have soulmate energy coming out here. Um, the Ice King, someone very strong, powerful, intellectual. Okay, someone very intuitive as well. Um, someone who is comfortable in their own power. They know what they want. They know how to get it. Um, so very matching that Ice Queen energy. Now, um, let me pull these both out. Okay. Um, cause we really can't ignore this energy. So it feels like, okay, for one, it feels like this might be a married couple, perhaps your parents. Okay. Or maybe even grandparents. Okay. That can, um, you might be able to talk to, they might have some deep wisdom and guidance for you that helps you, um, overcome any challenges in your love life along your way or putting the past behind you. Um, gaining a certain amount of perspective because they feel very, very wise. All right. Now for others, this, uh, this as well has the energy of soulmate energy coming out behind it. Okay. Um, so this can represent you and the person coming in perhaps. And this person, they might be a little bit older, wiser, okay, um, more mature. Um, but of course, wisdom and maturity has nothing to do with age either. Okay. So take that as that resonates, but they're certainly um, a very intellectual, very wise. Okay. Someone who very easy to talk to actually. Okay. The ice queen may come off as a little bit standoffish, a little bit cold, but deep down the ice queen really does have, um, you know, a heart of gold. All right. So this ice king can represent that fair male coming in. Okay. And that, that can be them in their power, or this is someone completely different. Okay. But we do have, um, um, as I'm feeling the energy, we do have soulmate energy coming in here. For some of you so very very uh, interesting okay and I'm just gonna put them just right like that because it feels as though they are very much related to that obstacle okay and um, you know it's uh, very interesting energy and I almost feel I really do I, I really am getting uh, the energy there that for at least somebody this is somebody that you work with and um, there's uh, you might have this 
chemistry, this attraction that is impossible to ignore. Um, but it's like treading on thin ice um, because it's it feels as though um, if one or both of you takes action on it, it's going to um, disrupt the uh, disrupt the energy um, or disrupt the uh, balance of power, so to speak. Um, because you both might be in a position of leadership of some sort, okay? And you may not work directly together, like in the same workplace, the same same division, but uh, maybe for the same company, um, or they could be someone that you do business with, all right? And that might be a little bit weird. Um, so anyway, so uh, interesting energy. So there's that obstacle in the way. There's that rock in between, um, in between you two. So. Um, but yeah, with that money there, that might have to do with your workplace situation. So chemistry, okay? There's chemistry coming out, the strong magnetic attraction. So again, that ice queen and ice king, I'm not really surprised, right? So, you know, if you're dealing with this person, um, if you're dealing with this person all the time, it's just, you can probably see the sparks fly and you, you might not think nobody notices, but I have a feeling that it's come to someone's attention in your workplace. All right, it uh, doesn't go unnoticed. We have let go of control issues, so allow this information, allow this situation to unfold naturally. So sometimes you don't need to really take any action to overcome an obstacle. Sometimes uh, the universe, um, if it's meant to unfold, sometimes things unfold as they should. Okay, um, you know, sometimes that might also have to do with just attracting in a new person, right? The, um, the magician energy, the law of attraction, right? It's all about putting your intentions out there, living in the energy that you already have, everything that you're trying to attract. You're feeling the feelings, the good feelings of what happens when I actually have this person, right? And, you know, when you're in that energy and you're feeling those feelings as though you already have everything, you've put everything out into the universe, then you need to let it go, let it unfold as it should. Everything will unfold as it's meant to for you. So we also have romantic feelings, okay? Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So whatever it is that you've been feeling about uh, somebody, if you've already met this person, okay, this high priestess, something secret, right? Some, some secrets being revealed, okay? It feels as though um, with the chemistry and with romantic feelings coming up, okay, there is a very strong energy that you're not imagining things, okay? If you think that you've been imagining things, um, you're not, okay um, because it feels uh, very reciprocal okay so they feel the same way as well um, and it might just be needing a change of environment maybe you ask them out for a working lunch or something one day and we have make the effort okay great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so again maybe you do want to make that first step and get them out of the work environment um, see if they want to grab a bite to eat at lunch, right? Just make it a little casual. Um, and it feels as though there's, um, you know, a little bit, it feels like as though outwardly there's a bit of standoffishness between the two of you, but that feels more like just protection mode for wherever it is you work. Okay. Um, but for those that aren't attracted to someone that you work with, because of course we do have fair mail coming out as well. You might, um, you might need to make the effort. You might need to be the one that reaches out okay um don't be afraid to ask someone out on a date or take that first step um male or female right you know so it's really just about taking control of your life so to speak right make that first step take the risk and then we also have attraction so you're attracting um, romantic love by enjoying this moment fully absolutely this relates directly to that magician okay what you think about you bring about with that magician so stay focused stay positive try not to control the outcome or every step of the way right it's not none of your business how it unfolds for you necessarily okay things will unfold exactly as they are meant to okay for your highest good all right so great things coming in for you here so let's see what we get with our tarot messages for cancer please oh hold on i think my battery's gonna die Ooh, okay sorry about that dodged a bullet with that one i don't know what made me look at my camera right then and there um because it doesn't make any noise when the battery is about to die so i think we're gil i think we're golden now <laughs> all right so let's see what uh tarot has for you messages please for cancer 
that was way too many message please for cancer what do we need to know for new love all right so we have the king of cups or sorry the knight of cups in reverse the fool and we have the tower coming towards you we've got the three of wands strength and the three of pentacles and then your outcome energy we've got a queen of wands the star and the chariot okie doke and then underneath the bottom of the deck for you we have the two of swords so it looks as though it looks as though uh some of you have been a little bit closed off okay um you've been you haven't been receptive to any kind of love perhaps you've been uh focused on your career and money okay with that money card coming out um and you may have also been um in an energy of healing okay and you're like nope not gonna do it okay you may also have had your heart broken of course and you know um you know as unfortunate that is um you know it really does um uh, it does help us grow. It doesn't feel like it at the time, okay? Um, but whatever it is, it feels as though you've you've shut down a cycle, okay, with a past person perhaps, and uh, you've also been reluctant, okay, to um, you know to move forward with love. However, currently you are rip roaring, ready to go, okay? The fool energy. Love seeing the fool come out with the magician, okay? Because. Uh, if you look, the fool is is uh, number zero, okay? Um, magician, number one, and the high priestess, number two, okay? So all in succession. So the stars are all aligning for you, and we do have the star card coming out for you as well, okay? But uh, the fool is represented by the zero, and that's, you know, uh, new cycles, new beginnings, okay? Um, you know, you're you're ready, and it feels as though, you know, whereas you may have been closed off to love in the recent past, okay, you're opening yourself up. You've um, perhaps connected with your higher self, your spirituality for some, okay? And uh, you're just, you're ready. You trust, uh, you're, you've put all of your faith and trust into spirit, and you just know that things are going to unfold exactly as they should for you, okay? Now we do have the tower coming in so we know a lot of you are looking at that tower going oh crap look what's coming okay now the tower is all about uh sudden unexpected change a surprise perhaps coming your way it does not need to be negative okay people always perceive perceive the tower as being negative because it does come with change and people humans are creatures of habit okay and you know if humans don't really uh embrace change all that well some people do but others do not okay but really um really what it is it's a paradigm shift okay for for some it's something that changes your life now in this case okay it feels as though you have been on a bit of a spiritual journey and by you changing okay changing from being um not open to love Okay, and now all of a sudden you're in this fool energy. Okay, you're ready for a new adventure. Okay, that changes your life and your outlook on it and how you proceed and how you um, deal with people, places, situations, right? Even with yourself, this tower can possibly represent, you know, your heart chakra opening up, right? You're, you've put the past behind you and you're looking forward to a bright new future. Okay, and, you know, for some, this can be, you know, that uh, spiritual awake awakening, that epiphany, okay, um, that, uh, you know, that complete change in how you move forward with your life. So let's have a closer look at the tower and see what that is, because this top row is you, okay, this is all about you, this is not, um, the, the middle row is what's coming towards you. So wow okay yeah here we go okay we've got that tower we've got the ace of cups so this is you your heart chakra is opening up right you finally finally pass the hurdle of healing okay you're opening yourself up to love right you're changing the way that you want to view your future how you want to proceed how you want to move forward right you're harnessing the power of the universe to bring in something new and the ace of cups i mean this is the holy grail of love opportunities right emotional fulfillment um this hand comes out of a tumultuous cloud okay and so after a time of turmoil 
or change or epiphanies or closure and healing, okay, now the new comes in. Where something goes, something comes new, something new comes in. So that tower is all just about shedding away anything that wasn't working for you, okay? Ways of thinking, um, closed heart chakra perhaps, okay? Putting the past completely to bed, right? Leaving you with a solid, stable foundation and now you have room to welcome in the new, this golden, beautiful opportunity. Your cup runneth over with this, okay? Emotional um, emotional opportunities, right? Love opportunities, new love coming in, okay? And opening yourself up to that absolutely beautiful energy truly 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 so whereas the tower seems a bit scary and yes while we're going through that kind of change that paradigm shift yes it is a little bit uncomfortable but it feels as though this may come to you as some sort of spiritual awakening you might just literally wake up one day and go oh my god i feel so free i'm like just you know what i i'm ready i'm ready for i'm ready for love Okay, and you know, but chances are it's been actually unfolding for quite some time. Now, this can also be a change in perspective, okay? This tower moment, especially if you're this person we addressed earlier, where you are hiding behind a material physical relationship as a way to block yourself from love. Okay, so this can be you having this epiphany, this awakening moment with this tower and you, you know, perhaps saying, no, you know what? Um, I think there's something better. Um, I've seen, you know, I, I'm really recognizing my patterns now and now I know what I'm doing. And that allows you to change your beliefs or change the way you think about love and allows you to open up, okay? So whatever that represents for you there, but that there is that change. Um, this can also represent, you know, um, you, maybe realizing that you're actually in love with somebody, okay? This secret, this mystery revealed by the high priestess, this could be your own secret coming to the surface and it's that holy shit moment, okay? And this can be that in relation to this ice queen and ice king up here, right? Especially if you work with this person, you might just, you know, you might be in a business meeting with them or something like that or, you know, and you've had the spark for quite some time and then you just realize one day like, holy crap, um, uh, I'm like in it too deep now. I'm just like, I think I really, really like this person and I'd like to date them. Okay. So that can be you coming into that, uh, that epiphany moment with that person. Right. So, cause there's a lot of chemistry I feel with that, uh, with that situation there. Okay. So what's coming towards you? We've got the three of wands. This is a transitional energy, a transformation. This is, um, not really transformation, but, um, uh, this is you um, planting your foundation with those two wands and then you're ready to ride the next wave, right? This is uh, this one here in this deck is about uh, waiting for the perfect wave, the perfect opportunity, something that will move you towards the future. So this is either you or your person, okay? Waiting for the right time to strike, to pounce, to, ta uh, to make a move and to take some action, okay? This isn't one of actually taking that action yet, but it's waiting for that right opportunity, okay? So... For some, especially if you work with this person, this might uh, this might be you needing to create an opportunity, okay? Um, or they could also be waiting for the right opportunity to talk to you, okay? It doesn't have to be you, okay? But um, with strength coming out here in the middle, okay? Um, this is Leo energy, by the way. Um, so this is a very, very strong connection, okay? That some of you already have with this person, okay? First and foremost, um, with the three of pentacles coming out there too, it feels as though you might actually collaborate on some sort of work project with them as well. Okay, so um, if that's this this soulmate connection, this work connection, and it doesn't have to be through work, by the way, okay, but that is a very strong uh, possibility coming out there. Okay, but it, it is uh, it is a soulmate energy coming out up there. Okay, and this ace of cups can be representative of that as well, but it's a very, very divine, very pure offer of love or opening yourself up to that kind of connection. Okay, so it is a very strong connection, irresistible. Okay, lots of lots of um lots of underlying chemistry and passion beneath that, okay? Now this can also represent um you know, you having a very how do I want to say that? 
Okay. This can be you coming into your own personal power. Okay. Stepping into your own personal strength, your self-confidence. Okay. You've, um, you've weathered the storm of this tower moment. You've weathered the storm very, very well. And you come out on the other side, um, very passionate, very strong. Okay. You, um, you know, um, you can persevere through anything. Okay. And this gives you, um, the stability that you need to move forward. Okay. So for your own personal strength, right. And you know, you again have weathered a lot of storms, a lot of ups and downs along the way. Um, this is, uh, I think I'm not sure if I said it already. It's the energy of Leo. Okay. So, um, you may have Leo in your chart or this can possibly be someone, um, with Leo in their chart coming towards you here. Okay. So this is either you or your person. All right. And the three of pentacles, uh, comes into play here as well. Now this is about teamwork collaboration, but building a foundation. So, um, you know, for some, this three of pentacles can represent the ice king and queen as people that are giving you advice and guidance. Okay. And you're listening to what they have to say through their experiences, right? They're helping you overcome some, um, obstacles or hurdles that you need to bring about something, um, something new into your life. This three of pentacles can also represent you and this, you and your person perhaps, um, working together. Okay. And there might be someone else involved, some sort of team project or something like that, but it feels as though whatever it is, it actually strengthens your connection with this person. And, um, you know, this is that strength card, right? So it's a very strong connection, str uh, strengthens your bond, right? The more time you spend together. Um, so again, that might, again, represent some obstacle because of course it might be a little bit uncomfortable for that. All right. Um, but this can also be you, um, you know, working, working together with like-minded people. You could be social, you could be doing some sort of networking. Okay. Something that, um, with other people that shares a common interest and that could be where you meet somebody new because we do also have that fair male coming out there as well. And it feels as though, um, you know, by moving yourself forward. Okay. Um, and by, you know, with that strength energy, you are exuding a lot of, um, uh, self-confidence. Okay. You're actually radiant at the moment. Okay. And this is when you attract someone new. Okay. Attract in the new. So for some, this three of pentacles, you might actually be doing some sort of networking. Okay. With like-minded individuals. Right. And that's where you meet, uh, you're someone new, right? Cause we do still have soul soulmate energy. I'm still getting from that ice king and queen. All right. doesn't have to be someone from a workplace situation. Okay. But it's, uh, certainly someone there. So, um, um, but it's a, um, very collaborative kind of energy that comes out here. And, you know, we do meet people in the oddest of places. All right. So, um, let me just clarify that strength card clarify strength. Thank you. We've got a knight of pentacles. Look at that. Okay. So that strength in some, your own inner power, but this can be also your person, someone coming your way. And we can't ignore the fact that we've got pentacles coming up here again. So something around your money, your career, um, your finances, something is affecting your love life here. Okay. So this knight of pentacles, this is somebody who is very solid and stable. Okay. Someone who has commitment on the brain, but again, with it being the pentacles, they are either focused on their money and their career, or this is somebody that you meet through your workplace and your career. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to be though. Okay. Because that Knight of pentacles is really solid, stable, grounded energy. Somebody who, um, once they reach out, they'll take their own sweet time. Cause, uh, the Knight of pentacles is, um, the slowest moving night in the entire tarot. Okay. So, um, but once they make a decision, they can, they move forward. Okay. And they act on it. Um, so this can be that person that you're calling in that fair male perhaps. All right. Um, but there is a lot of stability behind that connection, whatever that means for you, however that is with your situation. Okay. And, um, you know, in this row, what's coming towards you, we do have two threes. So yes, we've got 33 coming out for you right in the middle of the row. Okay. So, um, you might want to look up the spiritual meaning of number 33. Okay. There'll be additional messages in there for you. 
all right? But certainly something that allows you to work towards a great solid foundation, okay? Now your outcome row here, we have the Queen of Wands coming out here. So this is such beautiful energy. So for some, this represents you stepping into your own, right? Your soul full of passion, creativity, fire, inspiration. Okay, you're very loyal, very spiritual, all these wonderful energies. You've got a great sense of adventure. Look how happy this person is in this card, right? So, um, you know, for some, when, if someone's reaching out right there, you're meeting this person, you just can't contain your uh, your excitement, your enthusiasm, okay? Um, this can also represent your connection with this person, right? Because again, it really feels as though in this middle row here is when things really start to shift, when things really start to happen. Secrets come to light. There might be some sort of conversations that happen along the way, okay? Some genuine offer that comes your way that, um, you know, has the promise of long-term commitment and stability, Okay, so it really does feel as though this connection just has a lot of um, a lot of potential behind it. Okay, and a lot of um, uh, a lot of success as well. Okay, and again, it also feels as though you'd be able to start moving forward. We have the star coming out here as well as this Aquarian energy. Okay, um, and you're expecting miracles okay you're so hopeful and optimistic with this star energy it's like you've made a wish upon a star and you just know that it's going to happen right you've been manifesting this okay so you're just you just know okay that even if you know even if this isn't your connection this might be you know you stepping into your own personal power you just know it's coming okay and you're living in that energy and it's a beautiful wondrous energy right you've just you've cast all of your desires into the universe and you're just knowing that it's coming back and we have the chariot coming out here as well so um uh, really like seriously guys this is you this is your energy right that chariot card that is you stepping into your own personal power moving forward with speed and success and it's because you have the drive determination and the stamina to continuously move forward it's that grabbing the bull by the horns kind of energy okay so there's a lot of success um with this so it feels as though for one okay whatever happens in this middle row okay whatever action is taken or not taken okay um the strength card can of course represent uh, this person okay or this connection whether this is in your workplace or not but something very solid and stable okay so however that is for you this can also be of course you right but whatever this means i feel more that this is that connection Okay, whether to that ice king and queen, okay, or whether that's to that fair male, whatever it happens to be, um, I feel that this gives you, um, unleashes you the world of opportunities um, that are really headed your way, okay, and, um, you know, with this three of wands, it's like, you know, someone's biding their time, it's like, hmm, when is something going to happen, okay, so even if it doesn't happen right there, you know, there you are moving towards a successful outcome with that chariot energy there, and of course with the star, right, star is card 17, it breaks down into an eight, so abundance, okay, and we do have strength right above it, so we have 88 coming out here for you. So lots of abundance in these connections that we've got going on, right? What, how, what, whichever one those represent in your situation, okay? Um, and a lot of speed, forward momentum, and success, okay? So um, really, really beautiful, powerful energies coming out here. And we do have this Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck, right? This is sometimes about you being indecisive, okay? So you know, up on this top row here, okay, where you're opening yourself up to love, right? You're ready for new adventure and it's like, boom, we've got these energies clearing the path for something new, okay? You may, where you may have been indecisive, okay? I feel, I feel spirit helps you out with this tower moment, okay? This just shot of burst of energy, um, explosive uh, kind of situation, right? This mental epiphany, whatever that represents, okay? Something that opens you up to welcome in the new, okay? It feels as though if you've been indecisive you're not sure you know you're kind of wishy-washy well you know what it's all about your underlying feelings right so spirit comes along and helps you um, make a decision now this can also be you being indecisive about um 
making a move, especially if you work with this person, okay, this potential soulmate that's there for you, okay, and, um, you know, if you're just not sure, you're like, well, crap, should I, shouldn't I, it's a little bit inappropriate, it feels as though a change of environment is actually what might get you over that bit of a hurdle, okay, um, and, uh, you know, really, this is, this is uh, opening yourself up to new possibilities, right, even if you're afraid, Okay, because there's such wonderful, beautiful, abundant, successful energy coming out here for you in your outcome row. Okay, so whatever the situation is for you, lots of success in your future for this. Okay, so I would expect things to start unraveling pretty, pretty quick. Okay, not really unraveling because that has a, sounds like a negative connotation and it's not. There's really nothing negative coming out here for you. Okay, except maybe your own indecision. All right. So um, again, you know, you might be willing to take a risk, take a chance, change your environment, um, you know, open yourself up to love, okay? Because there is love on the way for you. All right, and then we have act as if your partner is here, okay? What did we say earlier, that magician energy, okay? Act as though you have everything that you need, as though your partner is here, everything is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. Okay, that law of attraction right there, that magician manifestation energy. We have the union of hearts, a love connection defies explanation. Absolutely. Okay, whether you, we meet our, we meet our people and our love connections in all sorts of places, right? And, you know, quite honestly, there's a lot of people that meet their partner in the workplace or something evolving around um, their work situation. And part of it is you, you know, you spend a lot of time at work, all right? But, um, you know, but also love knows no bounds, okay? You never know when you're, where you're going to meet somebody. So, um, and sometimes that's just inexplicable. And then we have love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of wonderful things that life has to offer. You absolutely are. Okay, so um, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. All right, whatever gifts that are headed your way. You know what? You love who you love. Okay, so love who you are first. Okay, and again, that devil energy that's right there drawing my eye. Okay, I feel that's in relation to that, right? Because sometimes we hide behind those kind of um, physical relationships um, as a way to avoid deep commitment, right? And sometimes that has to do with self-confidence as well. So love who you are, and then that is what will you will attract, right? You will attract something very positive. So I'm going to leave that there, but I'm going to close out your reading with a wisdom of the oracle. One last message for cancer, please. What else do we need to know? But I really do love the fact that right at the end of your reading here, you are stepping into your personal power and you are moving forward, whatever it is that you are um, bringing in. Okay, that's a beautiful, beautiful, successful outcome. All right, we're going to get that one. Ah, and we have the fates coming out for you. Card number 17. Okay, card number 17 is the star. Okay, and we do have a lot of stars, a lot of blessings here. And that also, of course, translates down into an eight. Okay, so abundance, strength card coming out. So 888 coming out here for you. Very, very important. Okay, so look up the spiritual meaning of 888. And also 77. Okay, the chariot is number seven and the tower breaks down into a number seven as well. Okay, so 77 will be very important for you. Also 22, master builder number 22 coming out there as well for you there. So, oh, look, I turned right to the page. Hmm, how serendipitous. All right. So essential meanings, fate, karma, acceptance, there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. All right. That fate, you know, this, uh, this ice king and queen, okay, for those where that's, um, you know, potential soulmate coming in, okay, um, you can't control that, right? It's destined, right? It was meant to head your way, okay? That a fair male, that could also be that kind of energy. So some karma is at play for you. A relationship message. Other people are who they are. You can't change them. The challenge is to accept them as they are and not try and make them otherwise to suit you. 
This is a time to look at how you attempt to mold people to fit your view of how they should be so you can remain in the relationship and avoid discomfort. What if who they are and whatever is happening between you and them in this situation is perfect from their perspective of spirit? Now is the time to accept what you cannot change, even if it means that you honor yourself, spirit, and the other person by moving on. Love unconditionally for each of us is on our own journey, and we cannot direct that of another. Be aware that this relationship is indeed fated, and you are meant to evolve into a better version of yourself as a result of it. Okay, so whatever is coming in on your horizons here, and again, that can also be those of you in that um, in that. Um, physical relationship that devil energy there okay spirit helping you to maintain your perspective number one so you don't get too entrapped in it um but also that can be some sort of karmic relationship that is going to run its course it's maybe there to give you a distraction um or you know whether that's um a finishing and ending with that tower you coming to that realization that nope this isn't going to work for me anymore i want something pure Okay, so whatever that whatever that means for you. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there, um, my dear Cancers. And uh, hopefully there was some messages here that helped you along your way for the month ahead. If so, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know how things work out for you in the month ahead. And uh, I wish you all the best, okay? All the best for the month ahead. All the, all the best of luck to you for sure, all right? So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.